outfield deep at every position now with George Brett at the plate. Set by Gossage, a high drive, and deep to right field. It is gone. Three-run home run by George Brett into the third tier of Yankee Stadium, and Brett has taken the Royals and put them in front. Put them in front here in the seventh inning. The Royals now lead it four to two, and the welcoming party at home plate as the Royals lead by a pair of runs. Now, my hero, he hates to hear it because it makes him feel old, but nobody loved George Brett more than I did in the <laughs> 70s and the 80s with Kansas City. There he is. He's our pal, Hall of Famer, 90-something percent of the vote, and he joins us. He's in Cooperstown. We're going to do Willie Aikens in a second. George, a pleasure. How are you today, pal? Okay? Everything is fantastic. Anytime you're in Cooperstown, New York, it's a good day. That's a good way to say Good answer, George. Well done. You know, I didn't good realize answer. Good answer. that you— I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that you changed your number either uh, to number five in honor of Brooks Robinson in the early 70s. For some reason, I didn't realize that. You were at 25, you went to five. Tell me about that for a sec. Go ahead. Well, I was home. When I came up, Richie Scheinblum was wearing number five for the Royals, and our equipment manager, Al Zeke, uh, called me in the winter after they traded Richie Scheinblum, or he signed with the Angels, and he just said, hey, I'm going to give you number five next year because uh, you play third base, and uh, and there's a guy that plays number uh, worth number five for the Baltimore Orioles, Brooks Robinson. I know he's one of your favorite players in baseball, so I'm going to give you number five next year. And I said, fine, I don't care what number I am. And next thing you know, I, I wore number five for the rest of my career, and now no one's going to ever wear that number again in Kansas City. Now, how about that? <laughs> number two, Aikens. It was our equipment managers doing. Now, well, you still, I mean, you love Brooks, too. Aikens now, Willie Aikens has a big Cooperstown deal today. You're going to be there with him. Came over from the Angels. I looked. He had a very good year in 80. You, of course, hit 390. And he had a tremendous postseason. Four home runs in two games against the Phillies. He hit 400 and very good in the 80 series against the Yankees when you hit the homer that one game threw off Gossage. Aikens was a very important part of that 80 team. How about that for a sec? Let me hear. He was, he was really really good uh, a great guy in the clubhouse uh, took a lot of heat off me because he hit behind me I got better pitches to hit and uh, it was really a treat playing with him um, uh, now I'm here supporting him uh, in post baseball because they have a movie coming out about him and uh, not only not only did he hit two home runs in the, in two different games of the 80 World Series he got the base hit in the bottom of the 10th, I think, or bottom of the 9th off Tug McGraw to give us our first victory. So uh, good clutch player, good friend, and I'm, I'm very honored to be uh, here in Cooperstown tonight with Willie on the premiere of his movie about his life. You know, you know, George, it's funny. You finally beat the Yankees in that year in 80. You, again, a guest game three. You swept them. I mean, it's almost like that was your World Series and maybe a touch flat against the Phillies where you lost the first two games in Philadelphia before you try to bounce back. Let me get your thoughts on that for a sec. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I think it was. We stayed in New York for like three extra days, too, because the Yankee or the, the Astros and the Phillies were still playing theirs. We didn't want to fly home, so we just stayed in New York uh, for two days because we didn't want to fly home and then have to fly back to Philadelphia uh, if they ended up winning. So we stayed there. And you know, there was a lot of celebration after losing to the Yankees in 76, 77, 78, not making the playoffs in 79, finally beating them. I think we might have celebrated a little too much in the Big Apple uh, and then uh, just got off to a slow start in the, in the World Series. But uh, uh, the Phillies had a great team. We had a great team. Um, unfortunately, we didn't beat them. We just didn't beat them. You got the championship, though, five years later. I think this is true, George, so help me out. The homer against Grant Jackson in the 76th, great ALC ALCS against the Yankees at the stadium, the one that Chambliss won, the homer, uh, won it with the homer in the bottom of the uh, ninth. If I'm not mistaken, despite losing that game, you got up the next morning crack of dawn to do the Today Show. Do I have that read right or not? Uh, that was 1976, Chris, and to be honest with you, I can't remember what I did last week. <laughs> <laughs> because I think you did, you son of a gun. You I got up early and did that I today show. Have, you know what might have happened? I might not even have went to bed and just went straight there. 
Who knows? Hunter, who knows? And Jim Wolford, God darn it, was safe at second base, first and second I in the ninth inning at six Where weeks. Was, yeah, exactly. On a force out, and I was People on that. Oh, I didn't even know that. How about that? That's I love that series. All right, how about the three homers against Catfish and the Yankees in uh, game three in 78, one of the great games, and Munson hit the homer there out to left center against Bird. Let me hear your thoughts on that. Go ahead. Well, three solo home runs, unfortunately. I was hitting leadoff that day and and, uh, and let off the game with a home run, came up in the third inning, hit another home run, came up uh, and my third at bat, hit a home run. Um, all, all off Catfish Hunter, and then I think I was facing Goose Gossage in uh, in my in one of my I think my last at bat. He throws a little bit harder, and uh, I didn't. I kind of got jammed a little bit on the ball, flew out maybe to the warning track or something, and that was it. But I don't think Thurman had hit a home run for like 80 straight games. He was really beat up that year. And uh, he had a home run off Doug Bird, I think, in the bottom of the eighth inning to give them uh, in that game. And, and uh, we ended up losing, ended up losing that series. I think that was 70. Greg, one I think the, that was 77. 70, that, was, uh, that was 78. That was 78. Okay. One of the great homers a month. Well, one of the great homers months ever hit, which over, unfortunately, eclipsed your three homer day uh, with Kansas City. What's up with the Royals right now, George? They had the great run, two or three good years in a row. Now they are struggling. You know Kansas City well. Give me a little rundown on this current edition of the Royal team. Let me hear. Well, they're struggling, hitting a little bit. As of late, they've hit a little bit better. They fired their hitting coach, which I guess you do when you have five or six guys hitting 170, 180, 190, and, and 110. Uh, the hitters are not hitting uh, for a while. They've started early in the season. Uh, we had good starting pitching, and, the, and uh, our, our starting pitching was, wasn't very good. Our bullpen was bad. Now our starting pitching is pretty good, and our bullpen is kind of struggling. The hitting is starting to come alive. They just can't put – all three facets of the game, uh, starting pitching, relief pitching, and hitting together. And when they do that, they're going to be very, very competitive, but they got off to a slow start. And like anybody, Chris, when you get off to a slow start, everybody tries to be somebody they're not. They try to hit three-run home runs when nobody's on base. If they're down one run, they're trying to hit grand slams rather than just trying to get in one run. And it's a common problem every team has. But when you're a very, very young team like we are, you can't, you can't do that. And as a result, they've really struggled differently. This is a great job by you helping Willie out in Cooperstown, George. It's not an easy place to get to, so I give you a lot of credit for that. We'll get you next time. You're my favorite. You know that. Keep okay, it going. Buddy. Appreciate you coming on okay. today. Okay, pal.